invasive species impact everywhere in the nation and it is important for everyone to learn about this species and take the action. An invasive species can come in many forms. It can be something that lives on the land or something that lives in water. It can be a plant or animal and it can be a microbe. What I want to focus about in this video is about the invasive fish species in Malaysian waters. The important to know about the invasive species is that it causes harm and it is not native. The greater the invasive species population, the greater the impact it will have. Once established, the invasive species will displace native species and dominate the habitat by feeding and killing the native species in the water. The presence of this fish is believed to cause local fish populations to experience extinction and damage to the ecosystem of this country's water. But in Malaysia, the reality is that the Malaysian government is more concerned with the country's income and economic interests than guarding the ecosystem of the country's water. As today, more than 75% of these fishes are considered prohibited is brought into Malaysia with the permission or permit issued by the Malaysian government itself to the relevant traders. The most famous invasive fish species in Malaysia is the cichlid family. It has 160 genres with 2,000 species. Cichlid family of fish is among the world's largest freshwater fish family. Most fish from the cichlid family are carnivore and omnivore. This fish makes fish and algae as its main food. The fish was originated from Central and South America, Africa and several other countries in Asia. The fish is now spreading throughout the world, including in our country, as a fish ornament for aquarium enthusiasts. Some of these species have a colorful body that causes this fish demand in the aquarium industry is very high. The fish species now spread and spit on lakes, rivers, and mines in all of our country. This fish has a strong resilience as well as being able to survive in a less watery area and oxygen, and it has caused the uncontrollably spread of this fish. The presence of this fish as a local fish destroyer is also very alarming. Local fishes are always being eaten by this species. Some examples of the fish from the cichlid family is flowerhorn, oscar, bumblebee, peacock bass and termosis. Who does not recognize this Arapaima gigas fish? from Arapaimidae family. It is one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. This fish comes from South America and many of them inhabit the river around the Amazon. This fish can grow up to 2 meters long. It's now abundant in our country. This is because the fish is commercialized as ornamental fish. Although this fish is considered as ornamental fish, do not be surprised to see some people eating this fish. This fish is definitely a source of protein that is important to the locals. This fish species was bought by ornamental fish lovers, but the fish grows very rapidly and aggressive, making the owner of the fish releases it into the river and lake. This fish is so greedy when eating. The presence of this fish in our river and lake is very disturbing. Nowadays, we often see pictures of local anglers successfully raising this fish in wild habitat using live fish bait, such as catfish.
Colosoma bidens or pachu fish is a close relative to piranha fish. It is from Caracida family. Contrary to piranha, it does not have sharp teeth and is usually not aggressive. Pachu has a red belly and has a rectangular tooth shape and resemble a human tooth. These teeth are used to cut vegetables that live in water and legumes falling from trees. Though apparently resembling piranha, Pachu does not eat meat and its natural diet is more to legumes, fruits and plants. The presence of this fish in our country as ornamental fish and for commercial ponds available in our country, this fish has a flattened shape of the tuber and it is as wide as the bawal fish. This fish has a strong fighting force being the main factor in the presence of this fish in commercial ponds. This fish comes from the Amazon River on the southern continent of America. There is fish that better known as Paku fish. This fish has a strong jaw strength to dismantle the legume that becomes the diet of this fish. The competition occurs between the non-native species and native species in the water when the non-native species had been introduced into a specific environment. These species will compete each other for resources such as food and territory to ensure the survival. Moreover, invasive species can survive in water that is poor quality and unsuitable for natural native species. Invasive species can adapt easily in the new environment and breed faster than the native local species. This situation will cause the niche for the native species decrease and the reproduction for native species become depressed. Invasive species will also affect native species by preying on them and indirectly altering the habitat, the condition of native species and the food web of the ecosystem. This impact will cause the loss in biodiversity and changes in ecosystem. We all have to cooperate to reduce the number of the invasive species in our water to protect our native fish and their ecosystem.